1027 VGS. Parenting is not easy. Now the no. kids are in school, we can talk about how uh, difficult it is. <laughs> and uh, if they're not in school, they're too young to understand what we're saying. So we can all just talk together. Uh, there was a toddler in uh, in Australia that got trapped in a claw machine. Oh, wow. Uh, at a shopping center. He squeezed his way through the prize hole, became stuck inside the glass, and they had to wait for a security guard to come and the operator to, like, get the key to get the kid out. I would have just started spending dollars and see. Okay, but grab them all. Grab claw, them all. get the claw get to push them down. I, um, this it thing's had to fixed. be at, like, either Sam's Club, Costco, or Walmart because those are the big ones that the kids can actually fit through. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I've seen, like, a picture of the kid. Uh, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty young kid. So yeah, sometimes wrangling these kids can be really tough. We were at Costco yesterday uh, or the day before, and I was buying um, tacos. So as we know, I've been on a real uh, uh, finance kick, and I'm trying to get my costs of everything down. Mm -hmm. And when I see a good deal, I got a freezer. I'm going to fill it. And I found it. Uh, it's still, it's going through the 11th. Don't buy them all, please. Uh, mm -hmm. Chicken, shredded chicken tacos with uh, the queso cheese. And it's a crispy thing. Air fries perfect to like $10.99 for $16. <laughs> Awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. The kids were going to love that. I bought 160 of them. So, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> about 10 boxes. Um, but that said, we were there we're at the Costco parking lot. And what's the one thing we know about the Costco parking lot? It's the worst. It is the worst thing ever. I get the kids out of the car. I'm opening the uh, the trunk to get something out. And then there goes Mario ready to poof, bolt mm -hmm. into the thing. And I grab him right by the neck. And I stop him and turn him around and get him back. He's like, ooh, that hurt. I'm like, it hurt a lot less than getting hit by that car right there. And there's a car that's mm -hmm. about to go by. My dad had to do the same thing with me. I almost bolted right in front of a car that was on this. My dad did the same thing, grabbed me by like the scruff mm -hmm. and stopped me from doing that. What, what have been your close calls when it comes to parenting? The things where it's like, oh my goodness, my kid is trying to kill himself here. Let me get in the way. Um, probably the craziest thing that Roman, or I'm sorry, Roman, not going... He hasn't done anything too crazy yet. I mean, the running in the road thing, we talked about that when my um, my nephew and Roman were running across the street to go to the park that they couldn't even get to. Remember at night and they were walking through my grandma's parking lot? Yeah. Um, that was, but Jaden actually, when he was probably two years old, we were, my husband and his friend were doing some work on one of their trucks. And Roman, Jaden, I always get them wrong. Once you have more than one, <laughs> right? God, and then the dog. I used too. to get so mad at my dad. He would call me. I just have, I've occasionally called the kids the dog. Mm -hmm. like, and I made fun of my dad so much. It was totally, I, I, I cannot get it right the first time. I can't either. And somebody just at Jaden's game over the weekend in Arizona said, oh, what are their names? And I said, this is Jaden and Bruin. And Roman said, I'm Roman. I was like, oh, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> I don't know anybody's name. Uh, but Jaden actually got wire cutters on his finger and, and cut not all of it off, but the tip of it. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. what? No. It was crazy. It was oh. so crazy. And I grabbed him, and oh, it was probably the grossest thing ever. And we had to go get in the ambulance to do the whole thing. But it was that was the craziest thing he's done that I couldn't save him. Yeah. But mostly there, running the road there was one with time, knives, with scissors, things like that. I'm pretty sure it was with Mario. It could have been with Colin, though. And, you know, like, you have the changing table up there. I had, like, the changing pad right where, like, the sink is there. And there's a place where a second sink could have been if you got that option from the mm -hmm. home builder, but I didn't. So that's where we had a little changing table. I had him there. I had to go turn around really quickly to get the towel. I turn around. I turn back. He's rolling off mm -hmm. of the changing table. And I had to do a dive yeah. to catch him before he hit the ground. I nearly died. Mm -hmm. She nearly died. Oh, like, oh, my God. And we, yeah. oh, God. Scary. It's not easy. I think that sometimes we think as parents that, like, you know, if anything like that happens, we're the only ones and we're terrible. Mm -hmm. But we're not. It happens a lot. No, because I don't think I've, I've caught Jaden or Roman. They both have fallen off multiple things. <laughs> <laughs> multiple things. <laughs> and they're great. <laughs> Smart kids. <laughs> <laughs> Smart kids. They are. But they've definitely fallen from high high areas. Okay. Well, listen, uh, parents, it's, it is a safe space, and we're not going to call mm -hmm. CPS and, as long as you promise not to do it on a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>